Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the occasion of signing the Riyadh Agreement between the Yemeni government and the Southern Transitional Council. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the Saudi King for his efforts in restoring security and stability in Yemen, and also praised the role of the Saudi led Arab coalition in the Restore of Hope operation. He praised the vital role of Saudi Arabia in solving Arab and Islamic issues. His Majesty expressed hope that the agreement will help overcome all challenges and risks resulted by the Houthi terrorists. His Majesty also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, praising his role in restoring the security and stability in Yemen and its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in which His Majesty congratulated him over the signing of the Riyadh Agreement between the legitimate Yemeni government and the Southern Transitional Council. His Majesty expressed appreciation for this achievement, which will bring unity and peace between the different parties in Yemen in order for them to work together to confront all that threaten the stability and security of the country. His Majesty also sent a similar cable to Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, in which His Majesty praised His Highness's role in the signing of the Riyadh Agreement in order to maintain the security and stability in Yemen. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, made a statement in which he said that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made yet another achievement through its induction into the Executive Committee of the Montreal Protocol. His Highness said that this represents an affirmation of Bahrain's proactive engagement in matters related to the environment and its excellent reputation as it carries on with achievements on the regional and international levels thanks to the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness said that this is the third time in which Bahrain won such an honor, underlining the international community's faith in Bahrain in this field. He extended thanks and appreciation to all parties that supported Bahrain to occupy this important role and for recognizing its efforts in the field over the years. An honoring ceremony was held today for the BDF military athletes with recent international achievements in the 7th World Military Games in China under the patronage of the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The event was attended by the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force His Highness Lieutenant Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The arrival of the BDF Commander-in-Chief was received by the Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi and Chief of Staff General Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi along with other senior BDF officers. At first, the anthem of the BDF Commander-in-Chief was played after the military players entered the venue. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed, His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid then honored the athletes before receiving badges of distinction which the Director of the Military Sports Federation, Brigadier General Mohammed Abdel Latif bin Jalal, received them on their behalf. The BDF Commander-in-Chief affirmed that His Majesty the King's patronage of the military sports has greatly contributed to various achievements on all levels and praised the accomplishments of the football military team which has won gold after beating its Qatari counterpart. The BDF Commander-in-Chief appreciated the efforts of all military athletes as well as staff members and affirmed that support will continue to be provided to all sports athletes in the BDF and beyond which is intended to raise Bahrain's profile across all sports.
At the end of the ceremony, the director of the Military Sports Federation presented the Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed, His Highness Sheikh Nasser, and His Highness Sheikh Khalid with commemorative gifts to mark the occasion. The event included Arda performance to mark the occasion. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, patronized the Artificial Intelligence Conference 2019 in the presence of officials, experts, speakers, and academics from inside and outside Bahrain. As Saleh affirmed the council's keenness to support AI through issuing legislations that cope with the technological development following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He said that the aim of this conference is to adopt modern equipment in order to achieve economic growth. He added that Bahrain was able to attract international companies, which reflects the investment environment that Bahrain enjoys. As Saleh stressed the importance of AI and that it needs collective efforts to activate it more across all sectors in order to achieve further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Ahmeda, met with the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Lim Ayyad, where they discussed cooperation ties, including the Implementation of Opportunities Program, launched by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which will provide training opportunities to develop national cadres and enhance their skills to integrate them into the labor market. Ahmedan hailed the initiative of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and his keenness on the youth sector to make it a main pillar of the Kingdom's development march. He noted the importance of integration between various concerned authorities in the youth sectors to achieve the government's goals. The Minister of Youth and Sports expressed appreciation for the efforts exerted by the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to ensure the success of Opportunities Program and harness its potential to achieve the program's noble goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the signing of the Riyadh Agreement between the Government of Yemen and the Southern Transitional Council under the auspices of the custodian of the Tuhali Mosque, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and in presence of Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Bahrain affirmed that this great achievement embodies the pioneering and strategic role of Saudi Arabia in preserving the security and stability of the whole region. It also represents an important starting point for a stage of cooperation and unification between the national parties in Yemen to achieve the aspirations of its people in security, development, prosperity and the elimination of terrorism. The Kingdom reaffirmed its unwavering support for all efforts exerted by Saudi Arabia in defending Arab issues and enhancing Arab national security, as well as its continued participation in the Arab coalition to support legitimacy in Yemen in order to restore security and peace and reach a peaceful solution that preserves Yemen's unity and independence.